Welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's topic is all about our thoughts and our words and how they can affect both ourselves and other people. I'll then be talking to you about some practices that we can try together that will help us to manage those thoughts and feelings and how to express them in a healthy way. You may have heard the term Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now, as much as we may not be physically inflicted by words, I want you to have a think if you've ever been hurt by anything that someone has said to you. Words can be extremely powerful and they can really stick inside us, making us think negatively about ourselves and often expressing that onto other people. Let me show you an example of this. But first of all, I need to go back to school to show you. Right, and uh, lastly, a good morning, Jody. Good morning, Mrs. Sunflower. Right, everybody's here. I'm going to start by giving out your maths test from last week. Here you are, Jessica. <gasps> Fantastic job. Yes. And uh, Jimmy, there's yours. Johnny. Christina. Reggie. And uh, Jodie, that's your one. Okay, and when I call your name, you're going to tell me your scores, please. Um, Jessica. 20. 20 out of 20. Fantastic. Good work. And, um, Jodie. 11. 11 out of 20. <laughs> Not to worry. Only 11. Ha <laughs> I got 20. Na 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 na. I'm better than maths than you. I'm so better than down, maths than please. you. Thank you. Take a moment here to think about what you've just watched. How might I feel? Unkind words can really hurt our feelings and this can put us into a negative mind frame. We then start to think negatively about ourselves and find it really hard to find positives. And we can start talking to ourselves in a negative way too, by putting ourselves down, saying things like, I'm so rubbish at maths. I can't get anything right. I'm a failure. I wish I was as good as Jessica. Sometimes we can sit with these negative thoughts for too long and take them on board. We start to believe that we really are these things and we shower ourselves with these negative words, which we then express out to other people. When people treat us a certain way, it can make us do the same back. Watch this next clip to see what you think about the way I handled the situation later in the day. <sighs> Wowee, that is fantastic, Jodie. Good job. Well done. Thank you. Now, I'm projecting the same negative energy that Jessica gave to me back onto her. Was this the right thing to do? Take a moment to think about or discuss this. Our words are so powerful and it's really important to take time to consider how our words might hurt other people. Think of your words like toothpaste in a tube and try this activity if you have someone to help you. If you squeeze the toothpaste out of the tube, can you put it back in again? Think of the toothpaste like our words. Once you say them, we can't take them back. Next time you feel like saying something unkind, think T. Is it true? H. Is it helpful? I. Is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? And K, is it kind? Now 
Now watch what happens when we try and think of positive ways to respond. Let's see yours. Hey, at least you gave it a go. And that's okay, Jessica. You might be better at some things and I'm better at others. Maybe we can help each other. If you want, we can ask if you can sit next to me and maybe I can help you with it. Sorry about what I said earlier. The power of your words is so important and it can really impact on your mental health, making you a more negative or more positive person. And we always want to choose the positive outcome. Now, we're going to move on to an activity called the I am jar. This activity is all about the way that you speak to yourself. So, if you have a jar, grab a jar, a piece of paper and a pen. really believe in yourself today and make sure if you're ever feeling a little bit low or negative go back to your self-love jar pick one out and remind yourself that there is so much to love about you